One of the reasons that I'm a rabbi today is because of what Passover was like in my childhood home. I remember in college being asked by our Hillel rabbi, and he said, has anyone ever been at a Passover Seder that was filled with lively discussion and engagement and questions and maybe even homework assignments for participants beforehand saying, I'm going to ask you this question when we get to this point. Let's have this discussion. You lead this part of the Seder. And, uh, and I raised my hand immediately because after all, every Passover Seder I'd ever grown up with I'd ever been to was like that. And in a room of hundreds of students, I was the only one with my hand raised. And it made me realize something about the richness of the Passover experience that I grew up with and that I want to share with you. One of the things that my dad did at every Seder he led, my father, he loves Passover. To this day, he still wears a yarmulke that my mother made for him with a Seder plate on top and his name in Hebrew. And, uh, and what he would do is he would always ask guests when we got to that part of the Gada that said, Bechol dor vador, chayav adam lirot et atzmo ke'ilu hu yatsam Yitzrayim. In every generation, one is obligated to see themselves as though they themselves exited from Egypt. And he would ask, what was it like for you when you went out of Egypt and people would share. And I remember a woman at our Seder sharing about adopting her daughter and traveling to Europe for that moment and that that was an exodus. I remember another person sharing at our Seder about converting to Judaism, about becoming a rabbi long before I did that, about other personal experiences of transformation, of change, of moving from one place to another, from one culture to another, of growing. And that is also what Passover celebrates. Not only the exodus that happened for us and our ancestors so long ago, but the personal exoduses that we experience as we grow and move from the Mitzrayim, from the narrow place, into a place of freedom, a promised land, by traveling through the Seder together. So this Passover, I invite you to ask yourself and to ask your guests, what was it like for you when you came out of Egypt? Happy Passover. Yeah.